Hey guys, today I will be counting down my top five favorite coasters at SeaWorld Orlando. This is a park in Orlando, Florida, and it's home to five different roller coasters. They're all they're all really good. Um, so let's get started. Number five, we have Shamu Express, which is a kiddie coaster. So it's not really much. So, however, this is one of the best kiddie coasters I've done. I'll say that one of the best kiddie coasters out there. It's probably it's large. I think that's why it's one of my favorites because it's large. But still, it's not that great of a ride in general. Number four is Journey to Atlantis. This is a Mac Rides water coaster with some amazing theming. It's also it's also kind of a water ride too. However, it is a roller coaster because it does have some coaster elements to it. I just say the theming is out of this world. This is some of the best theming you'll find on any coaster anywhere. Also, just the whole like experience is fun. Even though the refurb sucked the life out of this thing, it's still a very good ride. I, I'll say that. Number three. Now we're at the top three, and these are all the BMs. These are all contra controversial, and these are very like like swapping back. Everyone has a different favorite BM in the park. However, my number three BM, like sure to be the worst one, which is still fantastic, is Manta. Which this still this is a fantastic B and M and B and M flying coaster. This is a fantastic B and M. I don't know if I said invert. So if I said I if I actually said inverted coasters, I'm sorry about that. But anyways, this is not an invert. This is a flying coaster, and this is a fantastic flying coaster. This is fantastic. My favorite spot is the back row. The back row is crazy intense however the front row you still get a very intense experience it has a lot of elements it's very smooth I love Manta my favorite part definitely is that pretzel that is right now my favorite inversion I've ever experienced that pretzel back row is in it's just pure insanity it you will be on your you'll feel the G's on that pretzel it's crazy good Okay, number two is one of my all-time favorite coasters I've ever ridden, Kraken. This ride is incredible. It is so much fun. And some of you are shocked that I put Kraken this high. Right now, this is actually in my top five. It's right now my number five coaster. Before I was YouTube, we were like in 2014 and stuff, this was actually my number one coaster. I, I love the Kraken. It's phenomenal. It has a lot of inversions. It's smooth. Some people claim it to be rough. And yes, it's a little rough, but I think I'd still say it's a smooth experience for the most part. My personal preference, back row to the right. That is the magic seat. Also know Kraken's getting the VR. It'll be renamed Kraken Unleashed. So if you're watching this before the refurb's done and before it's called Kraken Unleashed, then so but then this ride's now Kraken Unleashed. Anyways, but this ride just it's phenomenal. I, I just I love its layout. It's intense. It's a lot of fun. My number one coaster is in the park is pretty obvious. It's Mako at SeaWorld Orlando. I love Mako. This is my number two coaster right now. The Ixer is probably the definitely the best coaster in Florida. That's that's a fact. And it's just this is I just love having a B and M hyper at my home park. I just I don't know what to say. I love B and M hypers, and this one is incredible. The airtime so crazy. The airtime is is crazy insane for a B and M hyper. I haven't ridden I've ever ridden all B and M hypers. I've only ridden three. The others I've ridden a Polish Chariot and and Intimidator. Those the airtime in those coasters are nowhere near as good as how on how good this one, this ride is. It's also incredibly smooth. It's, I mean, the trim. Some people do complain the trim just slow down the ride a lot. However, I just it's you still get that crazy sensation after that trim. It it's still just as crazy as ever. Would I like the trims to be off? Yeah, but is this ride incredible? Absolutely. Does it deserve a place? Does it deserve to be the best coaster in the park? Absolutely. I just, I can never get enough of Mako. Every time I go to SeaWorld, I always get on this thing. It, it's incredible. That is it for 
my coaster countdown. What are your favorites at SeaWorld? Do you agree with me? Do you not? I want to know. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.